Kim Darby, widely recognized for her roles in different movies, has made a lasting impact on Hollywood. It makes you think about which of her works really defined her career or holds a special place in your heart. Feel free to share your thoughts on her most influential project in the comments below. What's your favorite memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor? We're excited to hear your stories. Stay tuned as we'll be revealing some funny, shocking, and sad facts about Kim Darby. Keep watching for more insights into the journey of this legendary actress. Born on July 8, 1947, in Los Angeles, California, Kim Darby's early life set the stage for her success in Hollywood. Growing up in an entertainment-focused family, she inherited a love for acting. Her father, John Zerby, was a professional pianist, and her mother, Inga Miller, worked as an actress and model. Kim Darby's journey into acting began as a teenager at Hollywood Professional School. This helped hone her skills for her future career. The city of Los Angeles, where she spent her early years, provided a lively backdrop for her budding career. One significant moment that shaped Darby's trajectory was her debut film role in True Grit. This breakthrough not only showcased her acting skills, but also established her as a promising talent in Hollywood. The film's success marked a turning point, opening doors to various opportunities. Navigating the film industry's dynamic landscape, Darby's career continued to evolve. While some projects resonated more with audiences than others, her dedication to the craft remained strong. The twists and turns in her journey, both on and off screen, added depth to her story. Looking back, Darby's early life experiences, family influences, and the pivotal moment in True Grit collectively contribute to the story of her career. As audiences reflect on this classic Hollywood actor's contributions, they are invited to share their thoughts on the projects that hold a special place in their hearts. Stay tuned for more insights into the fascinating journey of Kim Darby as we delve into funny, shocking, and sad facts that further illuminate the life of this legendary actress. Born on July 8, 1947, in Los Angeles, California, Kim Darby made her mark in Hollywood with memorable roles. One standout moment in her career was her compelling performance in the classic film True Grit. This pivotal role not only showcased her acting skills, but also propelled her into the spotlight. In True Grit, Darby portrayed the determined and resolute character Maddie Ross. The film, released in 1969, depicted a young girl's quest for justice in the Old West alongside the legendary John Wayne. Her portrayal of Maddie Ross, marked by tenacity and conviction, left a lasting impression on audiences. Another notable role in Darby's career was her portrayal of Miriam Black in the 1972 film The People. In this psychological thriller, she brought to life a character navigating a mysterious and eerie plot, adding another layer to her diverse filmography. Darby continued to captivate audiences in the 1973 television film Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, where she portrayed Sally Farnham. The film showcased her ability to navigate the horror genre, leaving a lasting impression with its chilling narrative and Darby's convincing performance. Her versatility shone through in the 1974 film The Grissom Gang, where she portrayed Barbara Blandish. This crime drama allowed with Darby to explore the complexities of her character within the gritty backdrop of organized crime. Throughout her career, Darby's ability to immerse herself in various roles made her a respected figure in the industry. Whether as the determined Maddie Ross or the enigmatic Miriam Black, her performances became synonymous with authenticity and depth. As fans reminisce about Darby's impactful contributions, it's the memorable quotes and scenes from these roles that echo in their minds. Lines like, fill your hands, you son of a, from true grit, and moments of suspense and don't be afraid of the dark remain in the annals of film history. In conclusion, Kim Darby's journey in Hollywood, marked by memorable characters, solidified her status as a talented actress. From the determined Maddie Ross to the mysterious Miriam Black, each role added depth to her career, leaving a lasting impression on the cinematic landscape. Kim Darby's personal life is intertwined with various connections. She is the mother of a daughter, Heather Elias, born during her marriage to James Stacy. Notably, she was once the sister-in-law of Louis Elias and Carolyn Elias, adding family layers to her life. In the world of film projects, there's a mention of a movie titled Big Sur in the April 1, 1970 issue of Variety. It was reported that she would star in the film, initially named Unexpected Things and directed by Arnold Schulman. 
However, there's no evidence to suggest that the movie was ever completed or distributed, leaving an interesting footnote in her filmography. Apart from her on-screen endeavors, Kim Darby transitioned to the role of an educator. For a notable 17 years, she taught film acting and directing at UCLA, where these classes were mandatory for all film students in the Entertainment Studies Department. Additionally, she extended her expertise by conducting seminars in acting and directing at various colleges and universities, contributing to the education of aspiring talents. As we explore the different aspects of her career, from family ties to ventures into teaching, we see a dynamic individual who has left a lasting impact on both personal and professional fronts. Her journey, shaped by diverse experiences, adds depth to the narrative of this talented actress. Kim Darby's career exemplifies versatility, collaborating with William Shatner not only in Star Trek but also in The People. This partnership expands beyond sci-fi, showcasing Darby's ability to navigate various genres seamlessly. Her work with Larry Linville on Fantasy Island, where she marries a genie, adds a whimsical touch to her repertoire. Later, she portrays David Ogden Steyer's wife in Better Off Dead, highlighting her adaptability to different roles. In Matters of the Heart, Darby's engagement to Pete Duell during the filming of Generation provides insight into her personal life. These on- and off-screen connections add layers to the narrative of an actress whose life intertwines with diverse experiences. Beyond Hollywood glamour, Darby's filmography holds interesting anecdotes. The rumored film Big Sur, mentioned in Variety in 1970, adds a touch of mystery to her work. While the completion of the project remains uncertain, it forms a curious aspect of her film history. Kim Darby's transition to an educator underscores her dynamic nature. Teaching film acting and directing at UCLA for 17 years, she left a lasting impact on aspiring talents. Her influence extended beyond the university, with seminars conducted at various colleges, contributing to the education of future industry professionals. Examining Darby's life reveals a unique blend of personal connections, engaging film projects, and a commitment to education. Her journey, shaped by these diverse experiences, adds depth to the narrative of this talented actress. Kim Darby's early exposure to the world of entertainment was shaped by her parents, John Zerby and Inga Weir, known as the Dancing Zerbys. The duo gained acclaim for their nightclub performances in the 1940s and 1950s. Kim's introduction to the stage occurred at the age of three when she became an unexpected manager during one of her parents' shows in Las Vegas. This early involvement continued until she reached school age, marking the beginning of her unique journey into the entertainment industry. During her parents' stint at the Carousel Club in Dallas, Texas, a significant connection unfolded in her life. Jack Ruby, the owner of the club, took on the role of babysitter for young Deborah Zerby. Notably, Ruby would later become infamous for his involvement in the tragic events surrounding the assassination of Lee Harvey Oswald in 1963. In a less publicized facet of her life, familial ties extended beyond her immediate family. Her mother, Inga Weir, was a younger sister to entertainers Harry Weir, Herbert Weir, and Sylvester Weir. These connections underscore family relationships in Darby's personal history. Away from the glitz of Hollywood, her personal life unfolded with its own set of connections. Her marriage to James Stacy bore a daughter, Heather Elias, adding familial layers to her life. Additionally, Darby's association with Louis Elias and Carolyn Elias as sister-in-law further enriched her personal narrative. While her on-screen endeavors are well documented, there's a peculiar mention of a film titled Big Sur in a 1970 issue of Variety. Despite the initial reports indicating her starring role, the fate of the movie remains unclear, leaving a lingering mystery in her filmography. Beyond acting roles, Darby's transition to an educator is a noteworthy chapter in her career. Teaching film acting and directing at UCLA for 17 years, she contributed significantly to the education of aspiring talents. Her influence extended beyond the university as she conducted seminars at various colleges and universities, leaving a lasting impact on the next generation of industry professionals. In examining her life, it becomes evident that the journey is marked by diverse experiences, personal connections, and a commitment to both family and education. These elements add depth to the narrative of a talented actress whose life extends beyond the silver screen.